it will be time to start. So Louis et Clement de Pen is uh, giving a lecture on mixed structure on cosmology jump ideas. Yes, so thank you very much for your invitation. It's an honor to be invited for this talk and I would have liked to come, but now I'm a bit outside of academia, so I, I have to teach. Uh, my position only teaching, so I could not come. So this talk is about uh, topology of algebraic varieties. So during this talk, I fix X will be, uh, so either of smooth algebraic varieties over C, which then like I studied by embedding, embedding it into a, a proper variety, X bar. Or it can also work if X is, uh, I can embed it into a compact Keller manifold, which I called X quasi Keller varieties. Or just complement, I can take a divisor with smooth normal crossings, a huge one. So I mean, uh, X will, will not, it will work for both situations since it's about much theory. And uh, so in all cases, I take uh, X, small X, it's a base point on X, which is fixed. So by pi one is the usual uh, topological fundamental group of X. And in all these cases, that's a uh, variety is algebraic or not, or, or, or um, compact color or, or quasi color. In all cases, it's uh, finitely presentable fundamental group. And I take G, like this, it's a, it's a, any linear algebraic group over C, so it's a, but it comes with a fixed embedding into some GLN. And in this case, it's the algebra, but not by small g. It's, a, well, it's embedded as a subalgebra of the endomorphism of, of CN. And the general topic is to study the topology of X via yeah, its uh, linear representations into, some, into the, the group G, and hopefully to derive constraint on the topology of X via yeah, its possible representations. So to study this problem, I put the representation into a modular space, which I denote by form of pi one of X into G. So as, as a set, underlying set is a set of group of morphism from the fundamental group pi one into, into G, in the complex point of G. But this does a canonically, a, does naturally a structure of affine scheme of finite tab over C, because you choose because the group pi one is finitely presentable. So you choose a, a generators for pi one. So each, each generator, you send it to, to an element of G. And then the, the relation that you that you have in your, in your group by one, that this becomes a polynomial equation in, in G. So this defines the structure of affine scheme, affine scheme, affine type, because G is, itself is affine in the final type. But I think of this in two ways. So either this is the modular space of representations for phi one into G, like it says, or I can also think of it as a modular space of geological system over X, and I denote by V index rho, the local system associated to representation rho. And this local system, it comes with a, with a framing. This is a, they, they come with a canonical identification of the fiber at X with the vector space CN. And this is because I, in this modular space of representation, I don't quotient by the, action of G by conjugation. I don't quotient it out. So this corresponds to not to all local system modulo isomorphism, but, but to local system with a fixed identification with the at X with the, the vector space. And uh, what I did, what are named the Komoji jump plus I, so these subspaces of uh, the modular space of representations. So you need to fix uh, two, two integers, k and i, and you look at the subset of representations from pi one into g, such so that for the associated local system, v rho, the dimension of the, of the cohomology in dimension i is uh, bigger or equal than k. 
So as uh, so this defines a subset of the modular space. And this is actually, these are actually a family of closed subschemes for all I and K, these are closed subschemes. This is because of results of uh, semi-continuity of the cohomology. And these are indeed uh, closed and we can put a scheme structure on this. And the question is about the local and global, global structure of the joint space of presentation and of the homology and consign. And our initial motivations are, Various kinds of theorems that tell us that uh, they have uh, restricted kind of singularities, both for the media space and for the jump local, and, that, and uh, that allows to find, for example, to, that is, uh, that allows to find uh, examples of uh, varieties whose fundamental group cannot be the fundamental group of uh, complex uh, algebraic varieties because they are. Uh, uh, jump or the or major special representations are two bad singularities. That was the initial motivation for this. But more precisely, the main thing we'll be interested in uh, uh, in this talk is mainly the, well, the local structure. So for this, we don't take the full uh, the sub schemes. But so, yes, some uh, examples of results that are not known about the structure of this blocking. No uh, signs. Huh? Well, first, in the case where G is the group C star, and the modular space of representation is very simple because it's just uh, you choose one, uh, you choose the presentation of your group, and then you choose one element of C star for each generator. So, this modular space of representation is uh, the product of uh, algebraic torus, so C star, to the product to the exponent uh, first Betty number of X. And this is project with a finite group. So we can, we can think of it as a, as a torus. One kind of uh, result that was known in the early times that is the study of jump loss sign, the result for an ELO sensement field phase is that when X is a complement of an arrangement of hyperplanes, when you take G as C stars and rho, you take the trivial representations. So it's a, it is a, the element one of the torus. Then you can show the formal germ of the representation row of the jump plus sign is uh, isomorphic, in this sense, it's analytically is isomorphic to the germ at zero of this subset. So this is a the subset of the vector space H1 of X coefficient in C. So this is a finite dimensional complex vector space, such that the dimension of the whole cohomology complex. In degree i, where you put as diff differential omega, so this means you, on this whole complex with uh, zero differential, you put the differential omega, which product with omega, and this defines the complex because omega and h omega and zero. When you ask that the dimension cohomology of this complex in degree i is bigger than k. And this you can put a scheme structure on this, it's not very difficult, it's just near algebra. And, Things with matrices and the, just the, the rank of the minors of uh, the appropriate uh, matrix, the vanishing of minors of an appropriate matrix gives you a scheme structure on this uh, set. And this has a kind of result has been generalized by, uh, for example, Dinka, Pradima, and Sushu are people that work with arrangements of hyperplanes. They generalize the kind of result in rank N. Another kind of uh, general family of results that are known is that the every distributed component of the jump locale passing through a given representation row. There are also in many cases, they are uh, can be described at uh, subtori of this, of this torus uh, and the final group, subtori translated by torsion points. And this result has been proven by by this many people in uh, successive increasing generalizations, so it was for all compact, uh, for all uh, algebraic varieties, and uh, also compact Keller, I think, also quasi Keller varieties, that's so much. So, but, uh, and uh, more recently, for some cases, in the work of Guido Rubio has proven for some cases of uh, singular varieties using Hodge theory. This, uh, this is a long story with successive generalization. 
and more recently, a bit of the result due to uh, so NO cares with arithmetic method and we do one one and later later with more uh, methods in the spirit of first theory and algebraic geometry. Make sure that when uh, X is algebraic and our subfield of C, then this subspace should be motivated that is uh, to look at the tangent space to this modular space of representation at the representation group. Then this is a subspace of the cohomology H1. And they show that this is a submixed of structures. So, to sum up, there are properties of, uh, there are another property called absolutely constructible. That is, uh, it's, it comes from comparing this, this uh, comparing this subspace with the uh, locus with the modular space of uh, vector bundles with integral reconnection. And send this space to the space of vector bundles with integral reconnection. Twist by Galois to Morphism, and then it stays constructible. So they have, um, they have strong arithmetic properties that uh, let us think that they have some kind of geometric origin and that they carry mixed structures in the appropriate sense. And that's what I'm going to, to show now. The main object that we study. Is that we take a representation road, fixed representation road, the fundamental group, and we think of it as a point of the modular space of representation, a point uh, defined over C of this scheme, and we denote by O hat of rho. This is a completion of the local ring of the modular space of representation of rho. So this is a, a complete notarial local ring. And inside of this, there's an, just a, there's an ideal that corresponds to the closed subscheme of the jump locale at O. So this is an ideal in a complete local ring. And this is by, what I denote by the, what I uh, name the commodity jump ideals. And the interest of this lies in the many differential theory. At least for the, if you take any local artin algebra over C, like for example, uh, this kind of thing, C uh, polynomial, uh, like this truncated polynomial ring, then the, this local artin algebra, they have a unique maximum ideal, and they have residue in C. And if you take the set of map of uh, complete local algebra for the, from the local ring to A, then what you get is a set, set of representations from pi one to the point of the group Z, but over A, so the different, different uh, group, such that when you reduce module the maximum ideal, then this gives you your, your uh, representation of starting with over C, uh, point of Z over C. And this is what I call the differential functor of the representation group. This is a functor from local artin algebra to set. And you can also do this for the local ring to the, that defines the jump locale. So for when this is I and K, the functor def rho with constraint I and K. So this is, this is this, uh, this uh, space of morphism, a set of morphisms of complete local algebra from the complete local ring modulo the jump ID to A. And this corresponds to uh, the functors of deformations of the representation group uh, that preserve the cohomology constraints of having the dimensions of the local system in dimension E bigger than K. So it's, you can think it as uh, you don't deform in all directions, but you deform in the direction where you, where you keep the constraints on cohomology. And the main Theorems that we get for all this. So, uh, 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 let, let's just be remark that when you start with representation row that is defined over a subfield of C, like in the case for variations of all structures, that uh, row will be defined over Q, for example. Then, when uh, you, 
And then when you have the, your group G that is defined over Q and you take a representation over Q, then the modular space is defined over Q and the ring is defined over Q and the functors are defined for acting rings over Q because you feel Q and then everything is defined over a subfield of C. If your representation G and your, if you talk group G and your representation rho are defined over the same subfield of C. And now what we want to do is so the result of our motivation, the theorem of ACG and Simpson from 2008. And in that construction, they start from X compact Keller manifold. For the representation rho that is associated to the local system V rho that underlies the polarized variation of our structure over X. And then they construct a mix of structures of this on this ring. So this means that uh, on this ring, it's uh, it's not finite dimensional because it's uh, it's a complete entire uh, local ring. But uh, if you it has a maximum ideal, and all quotients by power of maximum ideal, they are finite dimensional. So all these quotients carry a mix of structures, and uh, in the compatible sense with all the reductions to uh, the model of the power of the maximum ideals. So this means this is just a quality limit of this structures. And this is also an essential tool in the proof of the of the Schaffer-Hitch uh, conjecture. Yeah, they use this, they, they use that uh, that this is uh, the, this uh, mix of structure is, is the fiber of a universal variation of mix of structures. Structures over X. And so in previous work, I managed by uh, successive uh, generalization uh, to generalize this to the case where X is non compact, by which I mean, as in the first slide, X can be uh, so other smooth algebraic varieties or quasi Keller. And then in this case, the representation rho is associated to local system. This is an admissible variation of mix of structure over X so with uh, unipotent monodromy as infinity. So over the local monodromy over the divisor and the boundary has to be unipotent. And this, uh, I did this by uh, successive steps. So I, and, uh, this uh, by giving us another construction that recovers the, pre recovers the previous one. It's a, I mean, it's, a, it's a different construction. And the natural question that was remaining after this, this work was to show that the jump IDs inside of the local ring are some mix of structures. And that's what I managed to show by giving the, by reviewing the, the constructions. If you take the quotient, then, then the quotient are so like it with mixed of structures. And uh, this will also have application in the last slide to the global structure of the, of the loss sign in the end. And uh, when you have mixed of structures, you can also go to describe what are the quotient by the weight filtration, so what are the consequences of existence of, uh, of uh, the weight filtration and the grading of uh, and the splitting of the weight filtration. Can also study this, but um, when doing this, I didn't get much new things. So, is it okay till now? And so, I'm going to extend some of the ideas to show this. Uh, I didn't recall what a new search structure is, but this has a this is a good hypothesis where you can have a, a mix of structures on the cohomology with uh, twisted coefficients. This uh, what we want to use is the fact that if X is compact and uh, we underlies the variation for structure, then there exists mix of structures on the cohomology with twisted coefficients, coefficients for cohomology of X with patients in, in V. In the non-compact case, that's why that's why you need the admissibility condition, that's a good condition, which, which makes it possible to have uh, this mixture structure on the cohomology 
ich freue mich dann gleich. Bis dann. And in order to show this theorem, I need to, to go through some uh, differential theory, uh, combine ideas of differential theory with ideas of fresh theory about construction of research structures with uh, local coefficients. So this first part, this is a differential geometry, so it works in a great generality for any uh, smooth manifold. Of, uh, in some sense. So I fix my manifold X and I fix the representation rho. And to this is associated a flat principal bundle as I done by P and an adjoint bundle that is by add rho of rho. So here's the since um, uh, the My, my algebraic group D is a subgroup of GLN, the adjoint bundle it is a, a subbundle of the bundle of automorphism of, of B, the open system associated to Rho. So this, gives me a, this gives me a bundle of uh, that connection. So if I take the algebra of C infinity differential form, this, this is a C infinity differential form over X with coefficient in the adjoint bundle. Then on this, you can define a differential that just differentiates the differential forms. The bundle is flat. So this doesn't differentiate the sections of the bundle. And so this is a differential that uh, increases the degree by one over, over L, L that has a gradient. But L does also a Lie bracket, which goes like this from element of L of degree I and J to element of degree I plus J. And this uh, bracket it combines the wedge product of differential forms in one part in X with the Lie bracket of the Lie algebra of the group Z. And all this, this structure together with the gradient differential and Lie bracket, this is what is this was structure is called the differential gradient Lie algebra. And I can also form things that are by M. Which is the algebra of infinity differential forms with value in the local system B. But again, it's equal to the differential because you differentiate differential forms. And it has no, no bracket, but it's an action map. That's the, the action of the Lie algebra on the, on the vector space. And the, well, kind of representation coming from the representation of Z as a, as a subgroup of GLN. And the actually this action map is both, it goes from Li, element of degree i in L, and an element of degree G in M to an element of L of degree, degree i plus G, which i plus J. So and this whole M, it's, uh, it's called a, a module over L in the sense of, uh, of, of a differential gradient algebra. So it's a differential gradient module over the differential gradient algebra L. In the, in the natural sense of what uh, uh, this means with differential gradient vector spaces and quotient complexes, and this is what you get. And to work, you also need to work this, you also need to take into account the augmentation of L, so that by epsilon x, this is a map that evaluates the. Um, Differential forms of degree zero, it is a, a continue a synthetic sections of the adjoint bundle through the fibers at X. And the fiber at X is canonically identified with the Lie algebra uh, G. And it sends the R degree forms to zero. So this is a canonical augmentation of L. And when you all have all of this, what you can do is uh, from differential theory. That you can associate also a differential functor to L. And uh, actually, any DG algebra of any field K of characteristic zero can associate a differential functor, which for uh, uh, local art in ring, if uh, is used with uh, maximum ideal M, the differential functor of L on the ring A. This is given by taking the more carton elements 
So the arrangements in L1 tensor M that satisfies the more Cantor equation. The modulo in action, this is the formal Gauge group. This is like a, uh, L0 is like the, the real algebra of the Gauge group because the expansion of this and the action of the of L0 tensor M on this space of more Cantor elements. And this was also extended to the pair LM. You can, uh, if you have the pair LM where M is the module over M, you can define sub functors. Uh, so this means that the def IK of LM over A is a subset of, of def L. So this define new uh, sub functors corresponding to the, the function problems with this. Uh, this jump conditions. Well, you take a omega in def L, so this is a, like a more Cartan element. And this gives you a, a differential on M, on M tensor A in this case. And well, there's a way to define in this case, there's a way to define jump engine so that you define your, your differential functor as omega in def L such that the jump ID of the complex M tensor A with the differential induced by omega are zero. So this jump ID, the, the precise measure, uh, the, the, the property that they vanish precisely, if you work over a field, sorry, if you work over a field, they vanish precisely when the dimension of the jump is identical. Uh, so these different sub functors of this. And the main principle of uh, differential theory is that uh, if you have a quasi isomorphism of DG algebra, it is that, uh, so uh, a map that induces an isomorphism of DG algebra that induces isomorphism in commodity in all degrees, then the induced functor of the induced morphism of differential functors is an isomorphism. And the theorem of Goldman Minson, where it started this theory, where they started the investigation of the Rekar Ring. They show precisely that if you take the, not L, but the kernel of the augmentation of L, then the associated functor to this L0 is isomorphic to the differential functor of the representation rho. This is like a kind of, uh, of a different or formal version of the correspondence between representation of flat connection. Therefore, this has, this has different the representation of rho, of rho. And if, if def L is stars that like the differentiation of more Cartan elements, modulo uh, gauge equivalence, but a kind of gauge equivalence that fixes the identification of the fiber of the system with uh, the fixed vector space. So you get that. Uh, so the, this theorem, uh, differential theory, is like uh, it's a, just a formal of different version of the usual correspondence between representations and flat connections, which has a it has a consequence that in principle you can determine the complete local ring by just the data of your Lie algebra and the augmentation, but you can also change L by quasi isomorphism. And this was improved by the theory of Voodoo and Wang, Wang to the case of uh, taking into account the pair. So if you have a quasi isomorphism of a pair of the algebra and the module, then you get also an isomorphism of the differential constraints of the differential functor with this uh, cohomology constraint, which means that uh, in principle you can uh, compute your uh, your jump ideas by and your different functors of rho and your jump ideas you can compute them by the just by the data of this L0 and M up to quasi isomorphism. Uh, yes, my, my idea is determined by, by this data data. So for example, when uh, X is a compact killer manifold and uh, when you, you group G is GLM and V is a polarized variation of a structure, then the 
agent bundle, it, it's the endomorphism of, of V, so it's also a polarized variation of the structure. And then by just by analytic methods, so you work on compact your manifold with VHS, so you can use uh, you can use uh, usual uh, Keller identities for harmonic forms with values in the local system. And everything. And you can show that uh, the pair LN is formal. That is, it's quasi isomorphic to its homology as a pair, pair of uh, TG algebra N module. And this works in compact case. It's formal. Which means that in this case, if you just, you can take your more Cartan equation and you write it not in L and M, but in, in the cohomology. The cohomology is finite dimensional, and you get that the, the work on ring is isomorphic to the completion of the local ring of zero to the quadratic cone of the, the your more Cartan equation when you put the differential equals zero, it just becomes a bracket of omega and omega equals zero as a, as a subspace of uh, H1 of X with two set coefficients. Excuse me, can you recall what is that I, J, and then I still don't know it now. Def, I just so. I put it uh, I put it uh, formally because I didn't define this, the okay. but the sub functor, the more carton functor, with this, this jump ID, it's near algebra. Yeah. The values. You did not explain <laughs> what have the jump ideals, mm -hmm. right? I know I, did, I didn't explain these ones. I, I explained the, the ones inside the local ring. Because in the local ring, you just defined uh, like just defined like this. The ID that defines the jump loss. These are the algebraic jump IDs. These are just the ID that, that define my that define my jump loss inside the local ring. And for the so the differential functors is just defined formally as this one. And for the yes, I didn't define it for the module, but this is constructed by linear uh, algebra. You just form the appropriate matrix and you take the minor of some, of some matrix, and this gives you equation that uh, that you put the equation that vanish. It's kind of fitting idea, or right? Yes, yes, it's, it's a fitting idea. Yes, it's a variation of fitting ideas. So it's a, it's ideal that vanish from the dim dimension gems that you define by some, some linears of uh, when you take differential in degree i plus differential in degree i mean i minus one and uh, take the mi minors of that point dimension of this and this uh, gives you this uh, some ideas. And this is a sub -functor. And in this case, so the, the jump ID inside the local ring corresponds to the ideal that defines the more Cartan element such that the dimension jump. So this is this method. Here you do, you do vector spacer and linear algebra. And you recover this, uh, this way, you, you recover if when G is C star and is a trivial representation, uh, you recover that this, you look at the element omega in H1 such that the dimension of the just the cohomology, uh, not with strict coefficients, and then you put the differential omega jumps like this. So this this explains the role of formality in all these cases. Yeah. So, but in the case where instead of interested in the variety X is uh, non-compact and. Uh, you can indeed construct uh, these structures on the on the cohomology uh, of with coefficients in the in the local system that are variations of these structures. So the things that are denoted by L and M, they will carry these structures on their cohomology. So that, that that's why I want to I want to use this to put the mix of structures on the jump IDs. But the problem here is that A may not be formal. It's just uh, plainly infinite dimensional in each uh, dimension. So uh, I cannot so easily compute the differential functor from L because it's just uh, an abstract differential functor and I cannot uh, easily reduce it to finite dimension. 
But for this, uh, one thing that uh, is a great tool for doing this is uh, the notion, it comes from Dirac differential theory, and it's called uh, the great, great discovery of Dirac differential theory, is that you can uh, not do formality, but on uh, the cohomology of L, it has a higher structure that is it, uh, a structure called L-infinity algebra, and it has maps, maps that are at LN of each degree for each n bigger than one, and of uh, where so L1 is uh, usually the differential, so in this case it, it's zero. L2 is the induced T bracket and cohomology, and L3 is, uh, is classically known as a massive product, so on, a, on the cohomology of, uh, of uh, any, any manifold of topological space, you have something called massive product that gives obstructions to formality. And if they don't vanish, then uh, your space is not formal. And actually, you have a, a whole sequence of, uh, of maps, which are, can be interpreted as a higher massive product. So there's the operation in n variables for each n that are organized in some combinatorial structure called L-infinity algebra. And uh, L becomes quasi isomorphic to H of L as an infinity algebra. So this, uh, this, uh, this, um, this means you, are, you have uh, induced maps and uh, a lot of combinatorics and a lot of formulas. And uh, you can show that L is formal if and only if all the higher operations vanish for all n strictly bigger than two. There's a classical massive product. It only, classical massive product is an obstruction, but it's not an if and only if. And here, L is formal if and only if all these operations vanish for n bigger than two. And else you get uh, some kind of higher maps. And in some precise sense, there are, there are maps between L and H of S so that they become isomorphic, they become uh, quasi isomorphic as n algebras. And furthermore, any n algebra it has a it can associate the different functor, the invariant under quasi isomorphism. That, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, that are defined by the, you can write, it's, uh, it's a kind of uh, higher more Cartan equation. So you can write a more Cartan equation with the cohomology of L, but with this higher math, so this element in H1, satisfying the kind of, uh, so this, this big sum, so L1, L1 usually is the differential, so you can use and L2 is the new bracket. There's a part, uh, Omega bracket omega divided by two plus higher terms, the dual kind of notion of one token. So, and uh, and the, the fact is that you can compute the differential functor of L with H of L and all these maps. So it seems more complicated, but so on the one side, L is something very rigid with just, uh, just the bracket, but it's infinite dimensional in, in uh, all, the, all, the, all degrees. And these things here, it seems like complicated and combinatorics and combinatorial, but it's finite dimensional in each degree and it will carry with such structure. So this is a big change of point of view. And as a price, as a price of uh, more complicated combinatorics, you work in finite dimension. And this was uh, also improved in the theory of uh, we do Rubio for the for a pair. So they do this. Uh, this uh, I'm not going to detail this, but when you have a pair of DD algebra and the module M over L, you can also uh, do a lot of combinatorics. So that the commodity of L it has a structure of L infinity module over the commodity of L. So I mean, there are lots of maps going from in. Uh, N variables, when you take N minus one variable in L and one in M, and go to the community of M. So these are like yeah, higher action maps. So usually the, the new one is the differential in the, in the module. And the new two is the action of the community of L on the community of M. And well, there are, there are higher action maps that are also kind of higher, higher massive products. And the pair LN becomes quasi isomorphic to the commodity pair. And you can write your differential functor uh, in terms of the commodity. So again, 
at the price of working with uh, more complicated combinatorics. But you can write your uh, uh, differential functor uh, in the cohomology of L and M uh, by using uh, well, it's, a, it's a subset of the differential functor for the cohomology of L. And take a look, take a more carton element in the in the previous sense. This defines the differential of L and jump and D again. And, uh, well, I don't want to go more into details. This, is, uh, this gives you complicated combinatorics. Uh, this gives a complicated combinatorics, but you show that you can write the differential functor def ik. You can write it in the commodity of the commodity of L and N, the finite dimensional and the finite such structures. So now let me be, come back a little bit to our problem. So we start with representation that underlies the variations of mixed structure. So on the on the cohomology, you have mixed structure on the cohomology of X with coefficient in the adjoint bundle as well as in the cohomology of V. There are mixed structure on cohomology because uh, this is a, a, a to, to recall it. And then the cohomology, the Lie bracket and, uh, and the action maps, these are all morphisms of mixed structures. So from this, we want to deduce uh, mixed structure on the local ring and on the ideas. But the problem is that the mixed structure it exists only on the cohomology, but the differential functor is dependent on the entire L and M of two quasias morphism. Or on the cohomology with these uh, higher action uh, maps. And similarly, the, if you work, uh, so you need, uh, so if you want to construct mixed structure, you need to, basically, you need to construct what's called the mixed complex. You need, you need some part over C and some part over Q. But uh, the Lee bracket on the action map in this situation, they exist and they, are, they are behave well at the, the cohomology of L and M. But if you if you do like if you just uh, use uh, resolution functors, you do uh, you do the right resolution functors from uh, from sheaves over Q. You, you, it's not very well compatible with the with the tensor product. It becomes compatible with tensor products and with structures only on cohomology. But before it's only commutative up to homotopy. So uh, we have. Uh, Virtual complexes over Q that are not, uh, we don't have uh, on L and M. It's not easy to get a new bracket that is defined over Q. And we need this to get a new finite solution over Q. And this is similar to rational homotopy theory of the two experiment. We want uh, you know, the algebras and modules defined over Q that are commutative at the level of code chains. And similarly, uh, there's another problem that I'm not going to go into many details, but this was problematic in the beginning. So this that we have to work with augmentation. That the, the full L, the full DGD algebra L, that we put the cohomology of X coefficients in add rho, it uh, may not have H0 of L equals zero, which means that uh, the representation factor of L is maybe not representable. We have to work with augmentation. I'm not going to go into much detail with this. I'm going to pretend that I work with the full L and M. Uh, so there's a lot. Uh, sorry, but uh, so in the classical theory, uh, in the classical mix of theory, so I didn't recall what is a mix of structure, but it's, so it's a uh, structure introduced by Deling and the comedy of uh, complex algebraic varieties, or it also works with is a quasi color varieties for the same because it comes from the divisor of normal crossing and the, the fact that the compactification has pure structure on the cohomology groups. And it shows that all cohomology groups have a mixed structure. And uh, it's the work of Saito, but with uh, increasing generalization by uh, starting with the work of, of uh, Zucker for, for uh, pure. Uh, the Induker for pure structures and curves. 
les choses actives qui vont être admissibles dans la chaîne en fonction structure, on va voir X. So, admissible is, is the right condition to get this. Then the cohomology group with local coefficients of also a mix of structure. And in this last case, you, so you embed your varieties into the compactification and D, sorry, D is uh, X bar minus X. Then for constitution mix of structures, you have this complex, you have AJ lower star Q. Is, uh, it's, uh, so it's a complex defined over Q. And you take the uh, differential form of X bar with uh, logarithmic poems along the divisor D with coefficients, twisted coefficients in your, uh, you need actually uh, not V, but the uh, canonical extension as vector bundle of V over X bar. And this form what's called the Dugin mix Hosh complex, that is, there are the filtrations, uh, Hosh filtration of this. Hosh filtration is not very, they exist on the part of C, and it's not so difficult to construct. And there's a weight filtration that is more difficult to construct. Such that uh, when you look at the spectral sequence for the weight filtration, then this uh, computes the weight credit part of the mix of structures, and this puts mix of structures in cohomology. And people that did rational homotopy theory, they, like uh, Morgan and Hein, right? they constructed mix of structures of the rational homotopy groups. And for this, they need, uh, they need, uh, uh, a uh, complex that computes the cohomology of X, but they need quotient com complex that are multiplicative at the level of complex. So the, the part over Q of the of a mix of complex that you put this uh, mix of structure, it's a, it's a kind of algebra of uh, kind of algebra of uh, rational polynomial differential form over X. And that's so you can get something that behaves like uh, differential forms, but that is defined over Q. That is multiplicative uh, directly at the level of commutative, and that is a cradle commutative directly at the level of complex. And uh, they needed this to, to put some structures on the homology. And we need to combine a bit both of these ideas. What we want is something that is, uh, that is at the same time that computes the cohomology. Uh, with preset uh, coefficients and put the mix of structures on this, on it. But we also want it to be uh, uh, differential gravity algebra directly at the level of the, of the complex. And that's, uh, that's not easy to do. So the proof plan of proof is that uh, we can construct uh, a pair of DZ algebra which are at the same time. Uh, so L is the algebra, N is the module. Whose cohomology is the right, uh, is the cohomology we care about. And these are equipped with the filtration, uh, they form a mixage complex. And they put the mixage structure of the cohomology. So this is actually well, constructing, constructing just the, the part of our queue. So the part over C, it will be uh, like uh, as usual. It's, it's uh, like the holomorphic forms with uh, the gravity pose along the, the boundary divisor, with instead with uh, local coefficients. And that's why you need uh, well, that's why you need unipotent monodromy because the, here actually you need the, you need to extend your local system over X as a vector bundle, significant vector bundle to the compactification. And uh, this uh, does not commute with tensor product if it's only quasi unipotent and not unipotent. And that's where I, uh, I don't know how to do this. Uh, if the monodro local monodromy around the divisor is not unipotent. But I don't know how to do this if it's only quasi unipotent. And the component of our Q is something that behaves like a Algebra of rational polynomial differential forms with two-step coefficient. But so in the earlier work that I cited before, it's a uh, elaborated construction, but it's quite easy to do now because there's something called the Tom, Whit Tom Whitney resolution functor. So it's, uh, it's like a resolution functor, it's like the RJ lower star, it's a resolution functor for shields. 
but that uh, that creates the uh, rational polynomial forms. So this uh, this resolves the shifts of commutative algebras into uh, complexes of commutative algebras. So this is it's a very nice property. It's completely factorial and it's uh, easy to work with. And then the other uh, other uh, great tool is a more more recent work. Joanna Sirisi and Schumann Sopena that shows that on the cohomology of L and N, you can put this full combinatorial structure of L infinity algebra and L infinity module such that all the operations, combinatorial, oper combinatorial operations that I showed before, are all morphism of fixed structures. And this is a really a great tool because then it means that. Uh, all the all, all what I showed before, you can pretend that everything is mixed of structures and not even mixed of structures. And you can write your differential functor with objects carrying mixed of structures. And, and in the end, you are only doing a linear algebra, finite dimensional, with mixed of structures everywhere. And then it's it's not very difficult. Once you have this, it's uh, once you have this, it becomes. We are algebra and you can put mix of structures on many things that are attached to the cohomology of this. Then uh, and, uh, you just write the more Cartan equation, it's a more important equation than the things carrying mix of structure. If you bracket the morphism of mix of structures, so you put mix of structure on the local ring. And uh, yeah, uh, not going into details, but we have a notion of, uh, of more Cartan elements respecting the mix of structures. And, uh, in the, uh, I'm not going into detail, but the thing that I want would be for here. In this, in this uh, complicated structure, you can pretend that uh, there's a mix of structure on H1, and that all this map, small LM, are morphisms of mix of structures. So, uh, so showing that the ring defining this, defining this as a mix of structure, then becomes not very difficult. And similarly for the ideals, there are a lot of uh, combinatorial formulas, but you can take an element omega, which uh, preserves a mix of structures. And the, all this morphism mu that I write here between the commodity of L and the commodity of M, Everything that is on this on this slide, uh, these vector spaces carry mix of structures, and this morphism are morphism of mix of structures. So then, since the jump ideas are defined by methods of linear algebras and, and minors of certain matrices, then uh, it's, it's, it's easy to show that there are it's easy to show that there are sub mix of structures of the local. Yes. And just to, to finish, so this is a bit abstract mix of construction is a bit abstract of this mix of structure. But you want to study what consequences do you have, and usually consequences consequences come from splitting the weight filtration. And this is what I propose. If you take X that is so quasi scalar, you take your group G that is. Uh, C star. You take W, which is an, another admissible relation of piece of structure of X. Again, we finish put up on at infinity. Then well, everything that I stated before is also work if you look at relative commodity jump plus I. This means that you look at uh, some representation, representation uh, rho, so that's the dimension of the of the uh, you take the cohomology with preset coefficient and you twist it by another fixed local system. And when V rho and W are both admissible variations of mixture structures with new potential at infinity, then the tensor product is again. So everything I stated before, this also work for the relative jump plus I. And here I stated in this way because. If you look at the relative loss I, so D is C star, so this is a adjustment of representation is, a, is the torus, time of finite group. And 
by uh, studying a splitting of the weight retention. And this, and this, this gives uh, obstructions to the, to the higher maps. This gives cert, you have certain maps that are compatible with mixed of structures and with weight filtration that, uh, that cannot exist because of uh, restrictions, some restrictions on the weights of the, of the, that exist in pedagogy. And when we can recover that this uh, component of the the components of the, sorry, the components of the relative jump side passing through the trial representation and recover that they are subtoran. This was known from Boudou one when the case of X is algebraic uh, by using a more algebraic method and by working with a system of geometric origin, but I think this is a new result. Where as I said, this is a new result when X is quasi scalar and when W is an admissible uh, BLHS. Uh, this is a new result and this is proven only by transcendental methods. So at first, uh, transcendental methods plus some things of combinatorics of, uh, of, uh, of uh, IR maps. But this, gives a, this gives a new result also on the global structure. And, I think I'm, yeah. uh, I'm done with this. Uh, thank you very much.